Hey guys, welcome back to News of the Science. We discuss comics, movies, games, and more. And never mind all this absurd amount of ads that you see on this page right here. Today we're here to talk about Willem Dafoe reportedly in talks to return in two MCU movies. And these uh, reports are just piling on top of one another every single day. And it's just getting really ridiculous out there to the point of like disbelief in my opinion. So... Um, I'm going to go ahead and discuss about this article, but before we get into that, let's go ahead and head over to my channel and click on subscribe and like and bell notifications so you all don't miss any, uh, anything I upload content on a daily. Uh, be sure to do that. It really helps the channel a lot. I've noticed that about 52% of you who are not subscribed watch my videos, so go ahead and click on subscribe, guys. I upload a lot of content and also go to my channel when you get a chance as well. Literally hundreds of hours of content for you to binge on while you're here. So just last night, I did a live stream with Evan Falarka. It was really fun. We were talking about the Marvel Phase 4 uh, back at the Disney conference, Investors Conference. So if you had a chance to uh, check that out, um, go ahead and like that, of course. And if you missed it, then go ahead and check it out right here. It's already posted. It's a little over two hours long. So definitely a lot of goodness right there to be had. And lastly, go to my Discord. The invitation link to that is down in the description box below. Uh, we have a lot of people like yourselves who watch uh, these kinds of videos and also people like myself here who talk about this kind of content on a daily. So go ahead and go there and everybody will be sure to welcome you there with open arms. So definitely give it a check out. And with all that being said, let's go ahead and get back to the article. So Willem Dafoe reportedly in talks to return in two MCU movies. Sony's dual attempts at maintaining a Spider-Man franchise both fell apart because of the studio's dis uh, desire to pile too much into the movies. Sam Raimi's Spider-Man 3 would have been a much leaner, meaner, and altogether better beast without the symbiote subplot. But the director was pressured into including the fan favorite character because Avi Arad, hate that guy, already had an eye on the toy sales. The Amazing Spider-Man 2, meanwhile, was a teaser trailer for Drew Goddard's Sinister Six, which only served to push Andrew Garfield's Peter Parker to the fringes of his own story and multiple sinos ended up getting canceled. When Mark Webb's sequel underperformed, and as for Tom Holland, he's already played the Web Slinger the same number of times as his two predecessors combined, at least until they all join forces in next year's multiverse Marvel Cinematic Universe blockbuster. So this is Tom Holland suit up in the first Spider-Man 3 set photo. This already had come out like about maybe, uh, I wanna say a couple months ago. So Spider-Man 3 is still filming at the moment, but he is going to continue wearing this suit. So it looks like he's getting ready to fight a villain of some kind. I'm sure Tom Holland doesn't know who he's facing because they tend to like keep that secret from him because he has a big old mouth. So this is Spoiler Man himself on the set in costume. And as well as Garfield and Tobey Maguire, Kirsten Dunst's Mary Jane, Emma Stone's Gwen Stacy, Jamie Foxx's Electro, and Alfred Molina's Dr. Octopus are all expected to come along for the ride. And insider Daniel Richmond is now claiming that Willem Dafoe is also poised to follow suit, with the actor reporting in talks for both Spider-Man 3 and Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. So Norman Osborn has been rumored for an MCU debut for years now, of course, and what better way to accomplish it than bringing back the original vintage, James Franco, Dane DeHaan, and Chris Cooper all played members of the family to a much lesser degree. And fans still love Defoe's scenery-chewing performance for uh, Raimi's 2002 original. That being said, almost everyone to have appeared in Spider-Man movie has been linked with a return via the multiverse. So we're not, uh, we're best not getting our hopes up too much just yet. Still, Richmond has a solid track record, and with any luck, Defoe will end up signing on. So, in my opinion, just to give you my thoughts, I think Willem Dafoe is willing to return for a role like this, especially the Green Goblin, because he's had a lot of fun, you know, uh, playing that character. And I wouldn't blame him if he did return. I mean, he seems like he had a lot of fun. He did give it like 150%. <laughs> now, you can, like, st uh, state that his performance ended up coming across like a little bit cartoony and over the top. But that's just how the Green Goblin is and was in the comics and in the cartoons from the 90s and, of course. Um... And he definitely made it his own, but yet it was very familiar. And I loved his performance personally because I think he was the best Green Goblin. The only other Green Goblin we ever saw on screen was Dane DeHaan. And I think we can use the Green Goblin once again. It's been already quite a while. We haven't seen a Green Goblin performance in six years on the screen. Since Dane DeHaan, uh, lesser uh, performance. I, I honestly didn't like Dane DeHaan as Harry Osborn. I feel like he was just thrown in there. Here you go. By the way, this is an Osborn, and you know what that means. There's Green Goblin. We can probably get a new Green Goblin. 
And I wasn't really looking forward to that. I mean, I believe with the Amazing Spider-Man series, if they were going to make more sequels, uh, to take their time with uh, the Osborns. And the actor that played Norman Osborn, he was hospitalized the entire time in the sequel. Didn't seem like he didn't want to play Norman Osborn, neither did he want to play like the Green Goblin. So um, if Willem Dafoe is willing to give it a shot and actually return for the very same role, I'm, I'm open for that. I mean, he's, he was fantastic as the Green Goblin. And if he's going to return, he needs to return with an updated suit that's more uh, closely accurate to the comic books. Um, where he actually is dressed up like something like, you know, where he's wearing like the purple on him and it's like shredded and torn. Like it's got some battle damage and he's kind of like dirty and rugged and everything. I would love to see something like that. Nothing that looks too plasticky or rubbery and nothing that looks like he's straight out of like a Power Rangers set where he plays a villain of the Power Rangers because that's what he looked like in the original Sam Raimi films. And I'd hope that they would do better and put a little bit more effort in the costume design. Being that this is a comic book movie, and in comic books, characters wear wicked, crazy, outlandish costumes. So, I mean, I really hope they make a they go with a better choice and a better uh, costume design with the new um, Green Goblin if they decide to ever bring that character back on the screen for the Spider-Man movies. So, I'm not at all saying that Norman Osborn or Willem Dafoe is coming back for specifically for Spider-Man Three, but. At this point, it's starting to sound like a, like it's it's turning into a meme where where people are posting like, oh, this character and this character is returning for Spider-Man three, and characters from like other franchises are set to return or make an appearance in Spider-Man three. So again, like I always say in my last videos, and I'll say it again, uh, please take this with a huge grain of salt. Nothing is said and done. Nothing has been confirmed from Sony themselves. These are just reports. Uh, people that work on the inside and get word from the inside. So again, take everything with a grain of salt, but apparently like all these reports and claims tend to hold just a bit of merit because they just wouldn't make this up out of thin air. You know, people are obviously reporting this for a reason because they just hear word and they have connections with people on the inside who do movies like this. So if I had to give a bit of assurance, I guess you can say that Garfield, Toby, Kirsten and Emma Stone, especially Jamie Foxx, obviously Jamie Foxx, we can confirm and Alpha Molina are both confirmed to return, but we can say that the rest of the cast are also set to return pretty much based on the report, but that hasn't been confirmed yet, especially for Toby, because so far, supposedly, he's still in talks. But uh, with all that being said, guys, what are your thoughts about Willem Dafoe returning for Green Goblin? Do you think he should return as Norman Osborn Green Goblin? Do you think he's a little too old to play the character? You let me know your thoughts below, comment down below, and you let me know what are your thoughts about all this madness about these reports of actors coming back for the Spider-Man franchise, or to the Spider-Man franchise, excuse me. Anyways, guys, that's everything for tonight. Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and click on bell notifications so you all don't miss anything. And as always, I will see you all in the next comic panel.